Hey guys. No, this is random. Yeah, I'm in the car right now. Um, by myself. My husband went in the store, so I'm just gonna do a quick video. Um, before he gets back, I'm gonna finally do my 33 week update. I'm 33 weeks pregnant right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no one was there. I'm so ready. Oh, huge. I am so huge. And if you saw my gender reveal video already, you already know what the baby is. It's a girl. Um. So this week has been kind of rough. Um. Because I'm so tired. I'm just the exhaustion level is just like seems to have shot up. Yeah, I'm exhausted. My body heat is insane because it's the summertime and it's hot. It's really, really hot. With the temperatures being in the 90s, I am suffering. Even when I'm home and the air is blasting and the fans are blasting and all that, I'm still like like super hot. The heat just, whew, it gets to me a lot. It zaps my energy and everything else. It makes me more sleepy and whatnot. By the way, I've been very sleepy. Still, of course, my sleep has been coming back in some ways because of course I'm getting up there and I'm kind of you know busy at home with the kids and whatnot and um yeah I've been really really sleepy so if I do take a nap sometimes it'll be like I'll sleep too long I'll tell my husband to wake me up at a certain time but he's just like oh you need to sleep so I just sleep like sometimes I'll accidentally take a two hour nap and I don't even realize I'm like oh my gosh I slept that long no you know, I really want to get up and get something done, but I guess if I need to sleep, I need to sleep. So, I just, um, yeah. I take those long naps. And I've been drinking a whole lot of water, of course. I always drink a lot of water, but I've been drinking more water lately. A whole lot more, because again, the weather. And, you know, sometimes we go out, we take the kids places, and I just get really hot. And I cannot afford to be dehydrated. Can't afford any of that, so I make sure I stay, I stay up on my water intake. I make sure I stay up on that. Um, what else? As far as my sleep, it is very hard to sleep. Y'all been pregnant before, you know what happens at the end of pregnancy. Everything hurts when you go to sleep. Um, you can't find a comfortable position. Um, what I do is I lay on my side, like like halfway on my side, you know, like kind of turn a certain way. Um. Where I'm not quite on my back, because I cannot lay on my back, and y'all know it's dangerous anyway, so I don't. I do not lay on my back, but it's, it's as if I am on my back anyway. Well, it's okay as long as I can breathe and I feel fine. Um, it's mostly on my side. I sleep on my side. But if honestly, if I had a recliner, I would sleep in that. If I actually had like a, one of the big recliners, you can like park your feet in. I'd probably sleep in that every night because. Um, it is best at this point in pregnancy to stay um, up and elevated, you know, like keep your head up and whatnot. But I don't have one of those, so I just deal with it. And like I said, I just lay on my side, sleep the best way I can. So, yeah, but I still, I've been waking up at night a lot. Um, just thinking and dreaming and whatnot. Just, I just wake up a lot, which is so annoying. <sighs> I'm having odd dreams. That always happens. I don't know why, but I have a lot of I tend to have a lot of sex dreams when I'm pregnant. I don't know why. I just do. But I have a lot of odd dreams, period. Um, yeah, I'll just wake up like when I get up to go pee or whatever. Which I do still do a lot. Sometimes I'll drink too much before bed and I wake up and my bladder is just in it's just so full it's painful, very painful. So I have to creep out of bed slowly. <laughs> Because my bladder is that painful and make it to the bathroom. Yeah, that is a nightly annoyance. Some nights are worse than others because I don't drink as much water every single night to where my bladder is that painful. I just don't. But it happens. Um, my hips are so painful. They they're always they always feel like they're out of um, out of alignment. I guess. 
because this is the fifth baby and my hips are probably actually all right. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm home now. Um, I can finish the video. I got. Uh, well, I forgot what I was saying before in the van about my pregnancy, but. I'm probably not going to try to repeat what I said already. I forgot what I said. Anyway, I am huge. I am like the biggest I've ever been. I am not gaining much weight. Which is fine because I don't want to gain any more weight. I'm still the same way I was last week. Well, wait, not last week. Two weeks ago. Um, which, like I said, is fine. It's okay with me. Baby is still fine. They actually measured. They got... Um, well, estimated weight of the baby yesterday. I mean, the day before yesterday. And she was, uh, I forgot the exact weight, but she was like four pounds and I think seven ounces. I think. I don't remember. So she's pretty much up there already. You know, she's a good weight and I still have time to grow, so she'll be five pounds pretty soon. So that means technically I'm good. I don't have to gain any more weight. So. And I'm glad because I already got enough fat on me to house her very well. So, yeah, I don't want to gain any more. I'm glad that I don't need to gain any more. I'm like in a perfect, perfect area right now. So, yeah, that's that. They measured, uh, yeah, they got the weight. Um, everything was looking good. Uh, what else did I say? I know I already talked about me sleeping, like how I sleep and how I can't sleep and all that stuff. Oh, I'm also in the nesting stage right now. <laughs> I am definitely in the nesting stage. Which, that happens to me pretty much every pregnancy. It happens to where um, I just get random bursts of energy. Or I have more energy than normal. And I just start cleaning the house profusely and getting things ready and organized. You know, even if it has nothing to do with the baby, I just still try to get stuff organized. Um, trying to do better with keeping the house clean even though I'm tired as I don't know what but I'm doing better anyway and the nesting stage gives me like more energy so that I can accomplish that which I'm very been very happy about so I take advantage of it when I can whenever I do get really um, energetic like that I do use it to my advantage because I must use it to my advantage because if I don't, I'm just gonna fall out um, in a couple of hours and be tired again. And be like, oh well, the energy's gone. Eh, I should have done it while my energy was there, so I don't let it linger. Um, mm -mm. It keeps getting cloudy off and on outside. Makes the lighting look horrible. Oh well. But um, what else? Okay, the nesting. Uh, I don't know what else to talk about this week. Hmm, I think I forgot. Dang it. I forgot to show you guys the ultrasound pictures. Yes, so we got updated um, ultrasound pictures of her yesterday. These are all facial shots. I don't know how well you'll be able to see them because, again, the lighting is going in and out, the natural lighting, but yes, these are the 33 week um, ultrasound shots. It's so cute. There's like a side profile of her head with her hand in her mouth. It's so cute. And the kids are really excited because um, my husband and the kids got to um, come with me in the ultrasound room and see the baby or see the baby on the computer or whatever. We were fascinated at it. Really exciting for her to come, so that was very exciting. Yeah. Um. What else? Did I already talk about swelling? Yes, I did. I think I did. I think I already talked about swelling. Oh, my hospital. Um. Experience. Well, not experience, but like. 
I didn't mention this in, like in any previous pregnancy videos, but I've been trying, trying to do be able to do a water birth. I've been wanting to do a water birth for a long time, but as you guys know, they usually cost something heavy. <laughs> but this year, I was really aiming to do one anyway. I was gonna see how much it costs and whatnot. And I remember I asked a doctor at the place I go to. I asked one of the nurses about. Um, I know my hospital, the hospital I usually go to, does not do water births. So I was asking her, you know, where should I go? I was, I looked online. I found only one hospital in Georgia that does do water births. I think it's one. No wait, no, it's supposed to be two. I think it's two. Two hospitals in the entire state of Georgia that actually do water births. Just pathetic. But I recently got some more information about one one doctor. He's um, very proficient in water births and he delivers at a certain hospital you know um, and he's very good at doing water births he's known for doing water births but what's, what's confusing me right now is that they don't fully take my insurance they don't um, my insurance doesn't cover everything they say we still have to pay a pretty penny out of um, what they, I mean, out of what the insurance does cover. So, I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but I really, really want a water birth. Um, I just talked to them this morning, so I'm going to have to wait till my husband gets home and tell him what's going on, because we've been really, really trying to figure this thing out for the last two months. And now it's getting late. I'm already at 33 weeks, so I need to really figure out where I'm going to deliver and how I'm going to deliver and get all that set up now before she decides to come. Like, soon, like in two weeks or whatnot. I've been trying to get it together. It's been busy and, you know, sometimes we have transportation issues. Sometimes our van acts up. Sometimes it's in the shop. We all know the deal. Um, sometimes my husband has to work and we can't get certain places, but, um, yeah, I've been trying to, um, do a water birth, like, do a water birth in a tub. I really want that. I mean, I do natural births anyway without medication without epidurals and all other stuff but I really I really like a water birth I've been wanting a water birth because it's just so it's just so natural to me and comforting I've been wanting one since probably after I had Samori but when I had Jelani I really really wanted one but we were like definitely couldn't do it then <laughs> and um they, the doctors were telling me yesterday that some hospitals don't do water births with someone who's had a previous C-section because I've had one previous C-section as I mentioned before um, with Jemayan he was my only C-section baby he was breached so he had me have a C-section which I was not happy about but he was my only C-section baby by emergency C-section he was my second child you know I've, I've delivered vaginally and naturally two children after him so I'm not sure why they say if you had a C-section, if you've had a prior C-section and you can't do a water birth, I've never even heard of that before. They were saying that some doctors won't let you do it because there's always a risk of uterine rupture. But I'm like, okay, isn't there a risk of that regardless of if you're in the water or not? Shouldn't the water lessen that? I don't know. <laughs> However, that news kind of devastated me. Um, knowing that, so... I don't know, but like I said, the, the hospital I just called and the doctor they recommended me to was saying that, you know, I'll, I can, they can set up an appointment for me to meet with him anyway and, you know, see if I'm a candidate for a water birth, or to have a water birth. And, like I said, I'm really interested in it, but, again, it's going to really cost because my insurance does not fully cover it. So, it's frustrating, a little frustrating, but, like I said, we will see. I'm gonna have to wait till my husband gets home and we'll find out um, uh, what we're gonna do about this. So, yeah, right now I'm trying to get my birthing plan in order. Because, again, it's late. And, um, yeah, usually when it comes to my birth, it just happens on the whim and I just do the normal traditional thing without pain medications. But, again, I really, really want to try a water birth. Hey, the sun's coming out again. I would really like to attempt a water birth. 
I heard it's the most beautiful experience ever and I'd like to try that. So, like I said, we'll see. Um, I think that's it. I think that was all I needed to say. Um, yeah, I'm still growing. My belly is huge. And by huge, I mean my belly is like the hugest it's ever been. I think the other day when I measured it was like maybe 43 inches around. That's huge. It was pretty, pretty big. Um, yeah. I am really, really, really big. Really big. And you can see my diastasis issue. My belly button is all the way down here. And it's supposed to be up here. But again, because my muscles are stretched and torn, it's not going to be in the proper place. But, oh well, I'll have to work on that after the baby is here. So, yeah, there's nothing I can do about that now. But I will see what happens afterwards. So, um, I think that's all I had to update on this pregnancy, or on this week. Um, I will talk to you guys probably in about another two weeks. These usually week by week things don't really change much, but if there's any major changes, let you guys know and um I am proud of myself for doing these pregnancy updates <laughs> for the first time on YouTube so yeah stay tuned guys for more and um check out our family vlogging channel if you haven't noticed already we have a new channel that's family vlogging only so no no hair no homeschooling just um daily weekly slash type of family hangout vlogs so you know they're not that interesting we don't do much right now so I can't but um it's gonna get there we're just a very simple family we just like hanging out chilling out and just having fun so yeah if you're interested in all that you can go subscribe the link is in the description box and um that's it for this pregnancy update I'll talk to you guys soon